Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over five customization tips that you can use for your very own iPhone. Now this is for anything iOS 17 and above. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Angel Adams and I'm a tech review channel that does reviews, unboxings, tips and tricks, and much more. Without further ado, let's get started. So our first tip is gonna be per app settings. Now this is where you can change the font, color, and so much more on specific apps. So you're gonna to go to settings right here, scroll down to accessibility, and then scroll all the way down to per app settings on the bottom. Now, as you can see, I already have a few apps that I've customized to specifically, as for messages, for example, I like to increase the contrast to change the color of the text messages. For live captions, you can even change that to have bold text, larger text, for example, so if you like to have that live captions feature, you can change the display. And for files, for example, you can change the bold text or the size. And this can be for any app that you choose. It can be anything, Amazon, books, calendar, any app that you download, you can change its specific uh, features. So for tips, for example, let's say I want the text to be larger. Let me add it like this. So. That's it. And you can add on and off labels and all these things, which you could do and customize to your heart's content. For number two, we have lock screen widgets. Now, I'm sure everybody at this point knows that you can customize your lock screen now by, uh, with a hold press of the button. If you go here, hold it down and then that's it. You can change it to a bunch of presets that you have. And I'm sure people even know how to change the color and the text size and font, but you can actually add widgets up to three on the bottom right here. So if for example, if you wanted to change these, you have a bunch of apps to choose from. Let's say you want clock, you could display the time of numerous places or just one or remind yourself of an alarm. Or like me, I like to add Shazam so I can quickly put Shazam a song if I like to listen to it. But you have reminders, shortcuts, even you can add your own custom shortcuts right into the lock screen so you don't have to go and unlock your phone. Now, you can even add temperature for Duolingo, for Spotify. The uh, There's even apps that let you customize your own widget that you can download. So it's really cool to add your own little features so you can have more information displayed without having to unlock your phone. For number three, we have journaling and also notes. Now, if you're like me and you like to write down something, if you're listening to somebody or if you want to reflect on your day or a specific time period or write down something, then journaling is for you. It's directly made by Apple and it was added in the iOS 17 update. If you click right here, it's going to ask for your face ID, but I already did that. So it's as you can see, I already have some here. For example, reflection on some music I've listened to on Apple Music, reflecting on a photo, looking back on a previous moment. So it could be from any date, any time. And you could sort it by the date or photos or anything. Some people could take this seriously and write a journal every day. And it's definitely going to give you automated things to add or reflect on. So if you like to save and uh, write down on your life experiences, then you can definitely use uh, journaling. Now, if you like to do notes, it's very similar, except it's more so based on the writing aspect. It doesn't really give you a recommended, so it's all just based on what you want to add. For example... I write down jotted notes to look back on. You can change the font style. It's very much more simplistic. It gives you only a limited amount of options. You can add photos though, and you can do a little bit more things. You can make a list, take pictures, draw on it, add another note to it and share it. And you can do a bunch of things as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, fourth customization feature, or let's say feature that you can turn off is location services. Now, if you're like me and don't like having your apps know your precise location, specifically for apps that don't necessarily need it, or those that track your data, then you can definitely go to settings right here. And then you're gonna have to go to privacy and security. Now, if you go to location services, it's gonna see which ones are only used, never, or always. Now, I like to use the location services only when it's using the app. And obviously for share my location, you can have your family and you can use this phone to share my location, for example. Now, if you go to tracking right here, allow apps to request to track, you can turn all of them off or have one specific apps such as these. So 
if you don't want the apps to have your precise location, it tells you right here, purple is exact uh, recently, and this is within the 24 hours. So this is all things you can turn off for each specific app. Now, a final customization feature, which is uh, pretty overlooked, in my opinion, is sound and haptics. This is where you can change the sound of each specific notification. If you go right here to settings and then the sound of haptics, obviously you can change the volume rate. And if you want to change it with the buttons by turning this uh, side button here, you can change it. Now for haptics, you can always play it. Or if you want like a silent mode, you can do that as well. Now for ringtones, text, voicemail, mail, all these things, you can have different sounds for each one. And you can even go to the tone store, go to iTunes, and then you can buy from songs or just sounds too as well. Obviously it costs money, so I just like to keep it wherever, uh, with all these Apple ones that they already have. Now you can even do this for keyboard feedback, lock sounds, headphone safety, all these things, which is pretty cool and overlooked because everyone might have the same ringtone for each notification. But if you want to know for what, uh, you know, for example, like each app or a specific text tone, then you can definitely change it to your heart's content. So yeah, those are five quick customization tips that you can add to your iPhone past the iOS 17 update. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on what's your favorite feature. And if you have some of your own, then please drop it down in the description. Any links to uh, any information that I use will be in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.